In today's crystal stories, I want to talk about teacher crystals and also communicating with crystals because I think these are uh, very helpful topics, especially if we understand people will ask, how do you communicate with crystals? And what you want to realize is that you are already communicating crystals. If you've bought a crystal, you have communicated with a crystal. And what we need to do is unpack how that communication happens so that we can understand what's going on and then we know which paths to go along in order to keep on learning more and more about how to communicate with our crystals. And so that's what these stories are supposed to be examples of is learning about how to communicate with crystals and one of the ways that crystals communicate with us is to teach us information. So I do want to reiterate that my book Everyday Magic is has many of these stories and as well as others that are really helpful if you want to learn how to do any kind of healing including crystal healing and it is now available as an ebook on Amazon and on Apple. So if you want to know more and you want more detail then go ahead and get the book. It's obviously not as expensive even as a little tumbled stone is being an ebook. So there it is. It's easy, it's affordable, it's quick and very, very informative. Big adventure and the book is designed to help you see more about your own life. Uh, my life's not that interesting to you. Your life should be very, very interesting to you and it's a book to help you see what's going on in your own life using mine as a case study. So on to teacher crystals and we've heard the story of how I acquired this gorgeous red phantom crystal in the shopping mall and I did indicate it's been very very significant in my life and uh, it is my number one teacher crystal that taught me how to become a crystal healer. So this crystal, Neisner, that was in a different uh, video about how I acquired it, it taught me to get started with crystal healing. It compelled me to use it. It showed me what to do with it. And then it kind of retired pretty much and just has become a demonstration crystal. Uh, but it does keep on sending out signals every now and again, reminding me of certain information and to teach certain information when I write about crystals and develop crystal surgery. And so it is has been a big um, motivator and introducer. It's my un introductory crystal, my, my crystal that introduced me to becoming a crystal healer and has been very profound in that regard. But in terms of actually be becoming a crystal healer, getting moving off the introductory phase and into the meaty phase, that came about through the red phantom crystal. And I cannot even describe to you other than to say I have developed this big body of knowledge called crystal surgery. There is no way that comes from me. None at all. Uh, it's a download. I could not possibly have figured that stuff out on my own. The crystals have taught me how to do crystal healing. The crystals have helped me download the information. The crystals are the motivators for crystal surgery. and this red phantom crystal has caused the information to be downloaded into my brain and then to be expressed in courses and now of course my book which I'll just get out the way so you can see there it is here's our pal thank you thank you thank you brilliant so Which other crystals showed me about teaching and crystal communication? And the way that you can recognize a teacher crystal is you can be sure that those first crystals that came to you are teacher crystals. And then a crystal that you keep going back to is a teacher crystal. And a crystal that introduces you to a whole uh, quantity of information is a teacher crystal and that's how you can identify which are your teacher crystals. Pretty much that very first one you get is bound to be 
a form of teacher crystal and then it goes. So the next one was the one that taught me that crystals are telepathic with me and I'll give you that story in a moment of what happened. But first I'll show you the crystal. So this is the crystal. It's calcite and this extremely unattractive stuff in it is called gyrolite and it's actually a mended crystal it was broken and there's the break over there and it's been glued back together again and I bought it broken from a man called Mr. Beckman who had a wonderful wonderful crystal collection that my friend Barbara and I gradually transported over to our homes <laughs> systematically with uh, sometimes weekly visits to Mr. Beckman and his crystal collection and he'd always say it's the silver pick when you buy from somebody else's collection you're getting the picks from someone else's picks and so there it was calcite with gyrolite wasn't sure what I was supposed to do with it but it, again it was that compulsion that I don't really even like the look of that crystal but for some reason I have to get it and it was just so compelling and so clear and so I bought this calcite with gyrolite and it taught me how to work with joints and that calcite is the best crystal to use to work with joints and it had some very nice properties in the crystal healing sessions that I was giving and I loved this crystal so much that it was one of the crystals I would take with me when we went on a trip and uh, one trip that we did as a family we went up to Omega Institute and uh, in upstate New York where they have courses and so on and our whole family went and um, we each did a course that we wanted to do we found that was a good way to have family time was to do things like a, a cruise where we could each do what we wanted to do in our age group and also Omega Institute was one of the solutions to that and there we were in Omega Institute and I was walking along the path and in my mind's eye I saw this I saw my blue denim shirt I saw my crystal in the pocket and I saw my children jumping on the bed up and down on the bed and then I saw the crystal break and it was like a little movie that appeared in my head and I went oh no no my calcite is gyrolite the kids are jumping on the bed they've broken my crystal I am so stupid because I put the crystal in the pocket when I was wearing the, the, the shirt and then I'd taken the shirt off and I'd left the shirt on the bed and now the crystal was communicating distress to me and I thought oh no no and I ran back to the room and I was too late this is exactly what was going on as the kids were jumping on the bed the crystal had sent me the telepathic message in pictures to show me what was going on but Neil sprang to the rescue and he glued it back together again and here it is many 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 years later it must be 20 years later and here we are we have our calcite with gyrolite to share our story well, it's not the only one this red phantom crystal also did that it also I mean it, this one has sent me many many messages but as I was telling this story about the calcite with gyrolite the red phantom said but tell about me tell about me so even as I'm sitting here now I'm getting these reminders from the crystals to talk about them and which stories to tell which I should have anticipated but eh. so there we are so what happened with this one I was I was at work and I suddenly went oh no for some reason my crystals in the garbage it's in the trash can and then I got this and then I got this imagery of the cat jumping up on the bathroom counter and inadvertently pushing the crystal off the counter and into the trash can. And I I as soon as I got home, I went to the trash can and I sorted through and sure enough there it was. There was the crystal in the trash can. And I went, Oh, thank you for telling me, thank you for telling me. I mean that would I, I would never have found it again except it told me where it was and what had happened so uh, <laughs> thank you for reminding me this is really weird it's live crystal communicates with Vivian live show there we go let's get a close-up of my beauty I'll hold it at its best angle it wants to show off 
crystals do love to be talked about. They're just like animals. Uh, just like your cat and your dog. They want to be talked about. They want to be petted. They want to be admired. Uh, they like to brag and boast. And it's hard for them. They don't have a voice unless you give it to them. And they don't have arms and legs unless you're willing to be their arms and legs. And that's pretty much what we're doing when we're doing crystal healing. We're bringing the arms and legs of the crystals. So now this is going to be my last story for today. I'm going to tell you the story about my V-shaped Vivianite. Um, uh, this one's pretty amazing. Now, strangely enough, I told you the story about the phantom crystal meditation. That would be the story about this crystal. And that, that crystal got me to do my, do my very first healing session for someone under duress, but nonetheless started a trend for sure. And then that same person had come back a few years later for a, another session and she had a sinus condition and while I was working with her I said to myself mm, I wish I had a dark green crystal to move the sinus infection and this voice in my head shouted I'm in the mailbox come and get me <laughs> I thought what you know it's, it's kind of tiring when you're getting weird stuff jumping around in your brain and uh, trying to feel more normal and like a regular person and you're getting these this weird stuff and I just thought well, that's nonsense I must be making that up and <laughs> and I went around and I got to uh, this person's feet and uh, and a thought occurred to me again you know I wish I had a dark green crystal uh, to move the sinus infection and uh, Again, this voice went, I'm in the mailbox, come and get me. <laughs> and so I thought, okay, it's Looney Tunes time, I'm just going to ignore it. And I carried on with the session and I got to the client's shoulder. And again, I had the thought, I wish I had a dark green crystal to move the sinus infection. And again, this voice went, I'm in the mailbox, come and get me. It's getting quite shrill in here. <laughs> I also have a three time rule. If I get the same message three times, I act on it. Uh, that's how I learned to develop my intuition. When I kept get the same thought or the same message from other people, from different places, or having the same thought myself, three time rule, get it three times, act upon it. <laughs> so I said to the client, I think there might be something in the mailbox that can help you. Now, you got to understand, I'm feeling like a lunatic. I'm not liking it one bit because I'm damned if I do and I'm damned if I don't. If I go to the mailbox and there's a crystal in it, then what has happened now? Crystals are shouting at me while I'm trying to work. And if I go to the mailbox and there isn't a crystal in it, well, then I am a lunatic. So one way or the other, something strange is going on with me and I'm entirely enjoying every second of it. I look back now and it's funny, but I actually felt under, uh, I felt under pressure. I felt uncomfortable with what was going on. And you don't, you know, generally leave someone's session, healing session, any kind of session and go to the mailbox to look for something. It's bizarre. There's no, it's, it's nothing short of bizarre in actual fact. And so, uh, she didn't mind. I mean, this is the person who arrived for a healing session when I wasn't working yet as a healer. So she was taking it in her stride and I was the one who was struggling. So I go to the mailbox and I'm full of trepidation and I open the mailbox and there's a box inside, a priority mailbox. And I go, oh, there is actually a box. <laughs> and so I go upstairs, I get the scissors, I go back downstairs to where I'm working with my client in the session and now at this point she rolls over and she's like lying on the table like this watching me and she's going hmm and she's thoroughly enjoying herself and I'm feeling like a crazy fool and I clip open the box and out comes this Vivianite crystal and it's very dark green it's, you know from your angle it's going to look black but that's you know like licorice is green but it looks black and so it is with Vivianite 
And what had happened was uh, another client of mine who'd actually moved out of town had bought the crystal for me months and months before and she just finally got, got it together to mail it to me, didn't let me know. But the crystal knew and the crystal wanted to come out and play and it was <laughs> shouting at me from the mailbox. And there it is, my beautiful V Vivianite crystal that taught me that I not only can envision telepathic messages from crystals, but I'm actually hearing words. Crystals are actually communicating in words with me and I must listen, I must. And this is my proof, this was my educator, this was my teacher crystal for that form of crystal communication. And thank you very much, Vivianite Crystal. I do love you too. Thank you.